worth it, guys. So much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch me. Today, we are here with the brand new Inside Out 2 trailer, which I'm very hyped for. We watched the teaser trailer. We got to see some of these new emotions like anxiety. Um, I'm very excited for ennui. <laughs> so I'm hopeful that we'll get to see them more in this trailer and get a better understanding of what's happening right now in Riley's life. So without further ado, Let's get started. This is Joy coming to you live in Riley's mind. Our little Make some I was gonna say soccer. I'm um, actually let's just start over. Our little soccer girl. <laughs> I love a sport ball. Yeah, sport ball. Woo! I start over. This is Joy coming oh, to you live hockey. in Riley's mind. A great sport. Get our mouth guard, people. Fear. No, no, nice. that's not ours. Disgust. Oh. Glad to have her on our team. Ew. Our little girl's growing up so fast. Mm. Ow. Sorry. Oh, you, if you have never had braces, you do not know this struggle. Oh my gosh. I'm already so hyped to see them covering the braces and that just awkwardness going in and having them like tighten them then your mouth hurts for like a couple days or even when you first get on your braces like oh my gosh I remember when I had my braces first put on I could not eat like anything so I was basically eating like box Chinese food like noodles and then birthday cake ice cream that's what I lived off for like almost a week it was just so painful to chew anything and you had to be careful of course too but oh my gosh so seeing like getting the colored bands on, all that stuff. Oh, it's so nostalgic. And I still have a little permanent retainer in too. So, you know, I, I feel for you, girl. I'm, I'm hopeful that this movie is going to give the perfect puberty adolescent vibes that I am hopeful that we're gonna get because there's so much you can do. So I'm, I'm so excited that we're already showing like the braces. <laughs> It should be nothing but smooth sailing. Hello. Ah, I'm anxiety. <laughs> Where can I put my stuff? A oh. new emotion. Oh, I'm sorry. We wanted to make such a good first impression. Uh, what do you mean, we? Uh, I'm oh. Envy. Oh. Oh. Look at your hair. Yeah. Oh, yeah, not happening. That's on we. On what? Uh, it's what you would call the boredom. <laughs> What's your name, big fella? That's embarrassment. Welcome oh. to headquarters, embarrassment. Oh, we're doing a fit. No. Oh, <gasps> no. Go oh, high. Oh, you got a real sweaty palm there, buddy. <laughs> oh my god! I love embarrassment. Oh, I just wanna, I just wanna take embarrassment and just pull him on in. Like, oh my gosh, the like failed hand. <laughs> oh. I I feel so much pain and suffering and like secondhand embarrassment watching that exchange because it was really well done. <laughs> As someone who has failed far too many handshakes in their life, that was physically painful to watch. <laughs> you have no idea how many times like someone's come in for like a handshake and I was like, I get too excited to like grab their hand and I end up grabbing like just their thumb and it's like, why did you do that? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, I'm so sorry. I was just, I wanted to make sure it was a good handshake and then I ruined it all. <laughs> so I am feeling this so much. And then we also had Envy who is adorable back there. Oh my gosh. What a precious little flower. Oh, I'm interested to see if Envy's going to stay just like the, wow, like that's so pretty, wow. Or if she's going to get that like little craziness where it's like, I want that. I'm curious. I'm really curious to see where they take Envy. That's the one where it could go a few different ways. And then on we being back there, <laughs> chilling on the couch is perfect. Perfect for boredom. I love that. <laughs> I think we all a few times have really captured that same exact pose. <laughs> so, <mwah>, gorgeous. <laughs> and, and 
anxiety was very cute. We already got to see anxiety last time in the teaser trailer, so I won't talk too much more about anxiety, but I really love all the new emotions. And I feel like once again, they really just encapsulate what starts happening in the adolescent mind where we start kind of losing our sense of self and we start recognizing there's other people with different things going on in their lives and we may or may not like it and how they interact with us may change how we feel about our own selves and our own lives. So I'm hyped. Look, we all have a job to do. I plan for the future. Ooh, who's that? You wanna sit with us? These girls are so cool. <laughs> I can't let her know we're excited. I got this. Uh, Joy, I'm just curious. Maybe um, I could uh -oh. you. not uh -oh. now. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Oh no! That's not gonna haunt us for the rest of our lives at all. Oh, you oh. oh. I know change is scary. Let's do this. Hey, Riley. But we need new friends, or we'll be totally alone in high oh. school. Out with the old, in with the new. Riley's oh, life no. requires more sophisticated emotions than all of you. You can't just bottle us up. Uh oh. We are oh. suppressed emotions. Oh, God. Ah. good just visual representation of what it is to just literally bottle up your emotions to you know sometimes it's a trauma response to get through something other times you just don't want to feel so that's so clever and i know yes it's the literal term of bottle up your emotions but that's so cool and then they're like we're suppressed emotions it's like oh <laughs> that's uh, kudos kudos this is cool i like this New Riley begin. Uh oh. You aren't packed yet? I'm the worst. Oh no. Well, that's a preview of the next 10 years. <laughs> Riley needs us. Have I ever steered you wrong before? Many times. Oh. Oh my. What is that? It's a sarcasm. Sarcasm. Uh, Those guys are jerks. Wow. <laughs> Those guys are jerks. <laughs> okay. The sarcasm. Whoever thought of that, that is a like million dollar idea. That is very, very clever. Like I was, I was giving my kudos too early. I, was, I gave them too early. The suppressed emotions, bottling them up. I thought that was really cool. The sarcasm. That's a 10 out of 10 idea. <laughs> That's really brilliant. And definitely that little Pixar magic that we all love and adore so much. I'm a little nervous because as I'm looking here, I don't see sadness in the group though. So, um, weird. I'm a little bit scared where sadness is right now. And it seems like overall the story is going to be that, you know, out with the old and with the new and that the new motions feel that they are better for Riley and that, you know, they are there and they're these, these, they're, these emotions that are meant to, you know, help you. Though... And we bore them. I'm not sure if that's as helpful, but embarrassment, anxiety, they're all formed from this, you know, necessity to feel some, you know, self shame, to also feel some envy towards, you know, shooting towards a higher goal. Or if you're seeing somebody else do something more fun, you know, it then will stop that boredom from happening. So, I like the story that they're forming that obviously these emotions all need to work together and need to come back in and that Riley needs all of this. So it'll be very interesting because like I don't think anxiety is a bad person. I think anxiety is just starting to build up so much that it feels like it's the only one that truly understands. And I think many of us who have anxiety can understand that feeling where it feels like anxiety is the only thing that we can feel and the only thing that can keep us going because without anxiety, <laughs> you know, the brain just keeps going and going and going and going and going until it just goes too much. So 
I think the story basically at the end of it is going to be that we help anxiety understand that it doesn't have to be going all the time that we can, you know, let things go and, you know, cry it out or, you know, do a little happy dance. All these kind of different things I think will be kind of our moral around it, which I really like because obviously we have a lot of movies, you know, a lot of these even decom movies that are out there that kind of go through the teenage experience. But I think it's cool to have this movie that goes through the inside experience of that. And that's why I really like Inside Out. And I don't mind if we get a few Inside Out movies. Like if we get another one after this, as long as this one's good. But if we get another one after this, I don't mind that. Because I think there's so much to tell. And I think it's very fun and interesting. And also just helpful for children to watch and understand that they aren't alone in these emotions. And that it is a very complicated time. And of course, getting the funny parent jokes thrown in where it's like, Oh boy, this is what's gonna be like for the next 10 years. <sighs> like, that's fun. It's interesting. It's goofy. It gives something for parents to laugh at too. So I'm I'm so hopeful that this is going to be as good as I want it to be. I'm so, so, so hopeful. The characters look great. They do look a little bit brighter. I don't know if that's my own memory going on me, but Joy just seems a little bit brighter than usual. The, the, the contrast seems like more, but maybe it's the monitor I'm on to. I don't know. I'm crazy. <laughs> but nevertheless, I am so excited for this June to see the movie and see how how everything goes and like the goofy awkwardness and this other girl that they're showing with the red streak. Um, They seem like a cool girl, but not like your stereotypical mean girl, cool girl. They just seem like, they're the kind of person that is intimidating because they do make a lot of friends. And I think as a society, we've kind of started to move off of that like mean kid thing where now it's more so we just have these people who are cool and are nice, but we're so intimidated to talk to them that we get scared to even do it. And I think that's what it's doing here is that we're just so nervous to mess up talking to the cool girl when she's not even that cool. She also feels the same feelings that we do anxiety that they messed up or did something wrong and we're going to relate to them that way too. So it's really cute. I'm, I'm so happy that this movie's coming out soon and it'll be fun. So I will see you all later. Bye.